Joining us for our first on CNBC interview, Equifax CEO Mark Vigor. Good to see you again, Mark. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on, Sarah. So how, how involved have you been with the federal government as it relates to today's indictment? How long did it take to get there, and, and what did that all look like? Yeah, we, we started to collaborating with them right after the incident. Uh, you know, I joined a few months uh, later in April of 2018, but uh, this collaboration was going on for quite some time. And I think today's announcement showed how sophisticated um, the attackers were. You know, it's one thing to defend against a hacker or someone trying to steal some credit card numbers, but defending against the military arm of another government, in this case China, really raises the bar not only for Equifax, but for every company uh, around the globe and in the United States in defending against cyber attacks. On page three of the indictment, it does say that Apache announced a vulnerability in, in your system of the software, and the U.S. Computer Emergency Readiness Team did issue a threat warning notice on the following day, but it wasn't patched up and, and it wasn't contained. So how much responsibility are you taking at Equifax? Well, sir, I think you know we took quite a bit of responsibility. Uh, earlier, in, last summer, um, we announced a, uh, the largest consumer fund ever um, related to data security and also had settlements uh, with uh, the uh, attorney generals from across the United States, the FTC and the CFPB. And then most importantly, we're focused on today and tomorrow. We spent the last two years, uh, uh, we launched two years ago, um, the largest investment in our history, a $1.25 billion investment in our technology and security. Uh, with the goal of having the industry leading security. We know that the data we uh, manage and possess is extremely sensitive, uh, and that's why we're taking it so seriously with this uh, massive investment. And we're about two-thirds of the way through um, that technology transformation that we believe is going to give us uh, uh, the best security in the industry. What do you think about the fact, Mark, that members of the Chinese military, official government agents, four guys, were able to break in and steal effectively the information on what? Half the adult community of the United States of America. How does well, that happen? Yeah, well, it's, um, there's hackers out there. I think you know uh, the Justice Department also in indicted uh, China's uh, same military arm for the uh, uh, Anthem Health um, breach a number of years ago. And the Attorney General this morning talked about the fact that they believe perhaps Marriott's breach was a result of the same hackers. So these are clearly very sophisticated uh, individuals and a team with, uh, you know, very extensive resources. And it raises the bar for all of us. And that's why we're investing so heavily in data security. We're investing in our technology. Here's, Mark, here's the problem. I think that, that America, I'll just speak as a consumer, not as a journalist. If I choose to do business with Target, I'm choosing to do business with them. Maybe I give them my information, open a credit card up. You guys get our information without us choosing to do business with Equifax. So people get frustrated and say, well, you've got all this information on me. I don't even know what you've got. And now the Chinese know more about what my credit profile may look like than I do. Well, I think you know the, the three credit bureaus provide a real service as well as the other recorder, credit reporting agencies to allow consumers to get access to credit. And we know we have a real responsibility with that, which is why we're investing so heavily in our data security and transforming our technology to make sure that the security is the strongest out there. Uh, we know it's a responsibility we have to have and uh, one that we take uh, very seriously. Could anything like this happen again? We're working hard to make sure it doesn't, Sarah. You know what? That's why we're investing so much in our technology and our security. We're moving to a cloud-based environment that we, we believe will provide the best security and the best technology. And it'll also allow us to uh, service our customers more, much better in the uh, future. So we're intensely focused on it to make sure it doesn't happen again. Well, we were, uh, Eamon Javers has been reporting on this for us and covering security for a long time. And we were just talking, is it ever possible for private sector companies like yours to ever compete with state-sanctioned intelligence services and hackers? Well, I think you raise a great point, Sarah. It definitely raises the bar, which is why we've been very public about sharing what's happened to Equifax to our competitors, to our customers, to our peers. We believe a combination of corporate government partnership. And that's why we collaborated so heavily with the authorities, because we believe you can't do it alone. And it's one that you have to learn from others. And you also have to invest a lot of money. You, know, you think about a company of our size investing a billion and a quarter in our security and technology. We're taking this extremely seriously. And the bar is higher. 
But I do believe we can defend against that. Uh, we get attacked every day, just like most companies. And uh, we have much stronger security today. We'll have even stronger security tomorrow. What, what do you think was the issue? Do you think it was just a lax attitude towards securities from companies, not just yours, but others who, who are hacked as well and not fixing these vulnerabilities? I think the bar has been raised, Sarah. You know, when you think about the number of companies, the scale of the attacks, and as you pointed out, you know, having the military arm of a foreign government must have a team that is focused on doing this to U.S. companies and U.S. consumers. It raises the bar, and that's happened in the last couple of years. And it's one where I think we all have to be focused on it. We have to be vigilant. We have to invest in the best technology, which Equifax is, and really make sure that we can defend and protect this data, which we believe we're positioned to do. Any idea what the Chinese want the data for? Did that come up in the investigation at all? Yeah, we're, we're, we're not the experts on that. You heard from Attorney General Barr this morning uh, talk about uh, they believe the data is being accumulated to use for spying purposes. He used the term AI, um, perhaps influencing elections, I think he mentioned also. And that's what our experts tell us is that not only China, but other nation states are looking to accumulate vast resources of data on Americans to use for some way in the future, either for spying purposes or to corrupt a government official or some other uh, reason. Think about it. If they know your financials, they know your health, if they know where you're traveling, um, there's a whole bunch of data there. And that's why we have to be so vigilant about protecting and securing that data. And that's what Equifax is focused on. Scary thought. Mark Beagor, thank you for joining us.